Dina 1.22, released on May 18th, contains a diverse array of improvements. Here are some highlights. First up is a change to the default type checking behavior. Now, most commands are faster by default. How? Older versions of Dino generally used what is called a full type check, running type checks across both your code and all your dependency code. In this new release, most commands were moved to using a local type check, only performing type checks on your code, not your dependencies. This makes most commands faster by default. Sometimes you need to delete some code to make things better. That was the case with the removal of Dino.emit, an unstable API that allowed programmatic transpiling and bundling of source code. That code has been removed from Dino core and now exists as a user land module called emit. Workers now support the Dino namespace by default, rather than having to opt in by passing an objects parameter. The response object has a new static method named JSON. This makes it vastly simpler to create response objects from JSON. It shouldn't be a surprise that this method was recently added to the fetch standard and that it was championed by a member of the Dino Core team. This is just skimming the surface of changes. For the entire list of changes, consult the official Dino blog post for the 1.22 release. In the meantime, keep on coding Dino Source.